Hello everybody, my name is Rich Blaze, and welcome back to Tormented Souls. Uh, in the last part we went through the maternity ward, found a few items, uh, found an under, the, like a small room underneath the maternity ward, which is cool, and it led to a mirror that you can pass through and go to like an alternate version of the uh, uh, hospital. It ha definitely has the Silent Hill vibes of going into the other world. Uh, just outside this door, there are two enemies. I'm going to try to skirt around them and not get hit. They do like to shoot like blood stuff at you. Oh! That wasn't cool. And if I remember right, there was an enemy just outside this door too. Hopefully I can skirt around him too. Okay, I can. So that's kind of messed up. Once you leave that safe room, you're going to get mauled by that guy. That don't seem right. <laughs> um yeah I'm fine uh there is a guy in a wheelchair down here and going through an earlier episode he took a lot of bullets to take out bullets nails whatever I was gonna try to get around him Uh, I'm gonna go talk to the priest guy. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I have a hex socket. You may find what you look. How can I find? It's on the second, second floor, floor of the easy. east wing. Take the stairs in the main hall. Oh, you'll need to unlock the door in the waiting room. Thank you. Take care, Father. I'm just going to load that save and save the two hits that I got out of that. But I still feel like I'm going to get absolutely rocked by these two guys out here. God. Yeah, I am not doing well. Well, that's just unfair. <laughs> oh, that really sucked. Okay, well... We'll see what happens. Main hall. Alright, so I'm in the main hall now. And it really does look good. A clip of nails. Yeah, it has that vibe of the Resident Evil 2 police station. In this area, at least. Payphone. No calling for help. Oh, I walked right by some nails. Yeah, I just can't. I can't just up and leave. What a shame. No piano. Sadly, I don't know how to play. Looks like we got an up and a down. Dude, that's freaking me out down there. What in the world was that? Oh, being in the darkness kind of like messes with you. 
Okay. Nothing there. All blocked off. Strange. Shut tight. Do I really want to go anywhere? It's long from the other side. Yeah, I didn't I didn't really want to go anywhere down there yet. So let's go check out upstairs. What? Nymph untying her sandal. Sculpted by John Gibson. Sculpture of an angel comforting her grieving sister. Not sure why I can't go that way. Come around and look. Oh, I guess not. Looks like the floor is broken over there. Okay. Off from the other side. Meeting room. Big old sword and shield. Long from the other side. Calendar. December 16th, 19, 1994. Morphine? Mm, I don't have anything for that, I guess. Nothing over here? Okay. Oh boy. Second floor corridor. <laughs> That's a big nope. Mm -mm. Nope. Mm -mm. I will explore somewhere else. Thank you. Uh, I'll check the two doors on the first floor. Chapel. So the chapel is quite big, it looks like. Where am I? In there... Okay. It is a big room. It looks like it has stairs that go up to... Looks like an elevator. Oh, there are multiple people in here. A smashed statue of Jesus. It looks like it fell off the cross. Um, I will go up here. I kind of want to go back in that room, though. I don't feel like I searched everything. This sounds like a safe room. That's because it is. It shouldn't have come here. An x-ray image showing a heart. The figure seems familiar. Give me a save room with no save um, ribbon. Shame on you, game. Oh, I spoke too soon. Service area. This room is... I have a hard time with horror games, man. I really do. So it looks like it goes through... And down around the public restroom. It comes back into the main hall, but I have the shower and laundry.
You know, now that I think about it, I didn't need to kill those two guys. I probably could have just used the wrench to open the door and run through. Saving me some nails. This room is dark as balls, though. Alright, let's just explore this little room here. Maria and Wildberger's Diary, it's another big ass page. Um, let's see. I was sitting on a hill under a big leafy tree. How long was I there? I couldn't. I could smell the grass and hear the sound of leaves dancing in the wind just over my head. Small, shapeless figures were moving side to side over my white dress. I get into. I could hear a weak voice traveling with the wind. I did not understand what it was saying. I did not pay much attention to it. A snake crawled up to me, hidden in the grass. It gave me no time to stand up, wrapping around my feet and climbing up my leg. I tried to scream, but the snake had already sunken its fangs into my flesh. I felt the poison burning its way through me. I winced in pain and let the snake fall away, lost in the grass. The pain got stronger and stronger, and the voices that were only whispers in the wind became clearer. Their sounds turned into syllables, their syllables into words. The pain worsened, and the sun, which was bright and warm before, became cold, surrounded by a stainless metal halo. The words turned into people who surrounded me. One was holding my hand. Push, Maria, push. I see the metaphor in that. Um. Let's reset reset him. Hopefully, I know I'm kind of using game quirks in order to. Like, survive. On the other side. Can I light this one? Oh, those sounds are creepy. What the fuck? Can I... I was going to say can I kill it, but... I can't even see in this hallway. And it seems like being in the dark is a bad thing, so I'm... If I have nothing else I can do, I'll try that. Am I? Office. Nothing in these lockers. So I can go down and that way. Oh, that's a wheelchair guy. Can they come upstairs? Oh, so you can come up the stairs. Okay, that's fine. We'll just bait them around. That is not a big deal. I'm gonna guess he's gonna be right outside the rest of the door. Ooh. Bathrooms and horror games. Oh, it is dark as balls in here, too. Is there any way to get power in here? Because if not, I gotta go to the second floor. All right, let's not die again.
Hello, my friend. I knew he was gonna be there. A pipe with an attached handle. Door locked. I feel like I missed something in here. Hopefully, I can kind of just play around with this guy for a hot second. Nope. He is there. Up my ass. Um... Not exactly sure what to do. I really don't want to go to the second floor. But I did get... Oh, that's a shotgun part. We're getting the homemade firearms over here. Yes, this hallway sounded like hell. I don't want to do it. That's not terrifying at all. Oh, is that thing? You know? Let's try killing it. These enemy designs are pretty cool looking. Alright, so this hallway isn't as bad as I thought it was. Hey, another save room. Stethoscope. Don't know why I need that. I never understood the appeal of abstract art. Yeah, well, it's just fucking creepy. That's what that picture is. And these mannequin doll looking things are weird. 25th April 1967. William returns from his week-long trip today. I can see his car from my window, slowly drawing closer. I was unable to go with him, for I was not feeling well. What am I supposed to do now? What should I tell him? Probably nothing. One look will be enough. It won't be necessary for me to, stay, to say anything at all. Hiding my face or staying silent will only postpone the inevitable. Before I have the chance to sweeten my words, they will stab him with the ugly truth. You'll look at me and know you lost the baby, didn't you, Maria? That's sad. Hey, another save, uh, save tape. I will save. Well, I have three of them. Huh? Not gonna say anything that time. Okay, so I'm in studio. And that puts me back into the chapel. And there's just the studio door. If I remember if I'm looking at this right, there's two doors in this area?
Oh, I don't even have the map for this, do I? That's right, I'm on the wrong floor. God, I am not doing well, apparently. <laughs> uh, anyways, as always, my friends, I appreciate everybody watching. It definitely means the world to me. This is a ton of fun, and I, and I just want to continue. So thanks again. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye for now. Kid, where are you? Where am I? Where the hell am I indeed?